this looks like a Kobe friendly photo. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right. So good afternoon. Um, good morning. Hi. Hi. Uh, how, how are you doing? Morning. So you met you're in Nigeria, and I want to know how you're doing today. Wonderful. Good. 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 The weather's great. Sun is shining. It's amazing. Yeah. People are lovely. Yeah, it's great. Awesome. It's so for this question is for both of you. Um, apart from delivering the keynote speech at Afrif, what are you in Nigeria? So you can go first. First of all, you never have to give me a reason to come to Nigeria. Like I love Nigeria. Um, so I was like, first of all, we're just genuine love and passion for Nigeria. Um, genuine love and passion for the content and the creativity and the innovation that comes from Nigeria. Um, and then genuine passion for taking that and not only creating even more for Nigerians in Nigeria, but taking that and really exporting it to the rest of the world so even more people get to discover what is special about Nigerian creativity um, and Nigerian filmmaking and Nigerian TV shows. Um, and that's what we believe makes us special, right? We have over 200 million members in 240 countries and a lot of them know about Nollywood, right? That's how it got big, but a lot of them still don't. Mm -hmm. And um, from a marketing perspective, I am personally really passionate about taking that and getting it to as many people as possible. So they will understand why it's so addictive, why you have to watch more and more and more. Um, and if we do that, we think it will not only be great for our members, but it will be incredible for the Nigerian economy as well. Great, I think she's answered the question so <laughs> So, um, how does it feel to be back in Nigeria? Oh my God. It's, to be honest, it's like, it's so emotional. It's such a full circle moment. Um, growing up here, I went to QC, I graduated here, left after QC to go to university abroad, and really was chasing a dream that like I saw in movies, right, that came out of Hollywood. And it's interesting to now be in LA working out of Hollywood, but actually now coming back to Nigeria to do the same thing in Nigeria, but like taking Nigeria to the world. So like, it literally feels like a full cir circle moment, which for me is just like very emotional. Um, and just, yeah, it feels, it feels really, really good. Great. So James, is this your first time in Nigeria? It is, yeah. Um, so what have been the most fascinating thing about Nigeria for you? The most fascinating thing, I think, has been uh, I'm always I'm always uh, excited when I when I go and I meet the creators in a country for the first time. And uh, some folks, maybe this would surprise me, maybe won't. You know, around the world, are not that ambitious. They're not that they don't have big ideas. You know, when I ask them what is what's your dream project, they 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 just say they just repeat like what's already on TV, what's already in theaters. And I say, come on, like let's go bigger. Yeah. Let's go. Come on, that hasn't been a problem here. <laughs> like everybody's ready to go big. But they've also, they balanced it perfectly. So just like we at Amazon, we want to go big, we want to go after it, but we're also humble about it. Like there's things we don't know, we're going to have to ask, we're going to have to learn. The creators have been the same way. They've been very open with, you know, like asking us questions. Like how are we going to do the VFX if we want to do a big action movie? And we say, oh great, we can help with that. Or, you know, so I love that ambition, that ambition mixed with that humbleness, because uh, that's, that's how we see ourselves as well. Great. Um, so James, is there a special kind of content you're looking at commissioning from? Nollywood filmmakers? I would, I would give you uh, two things. The first would be, like, we know the Nollywood content that people love around the world, so we're gonna have to, you know, make, you know, romance, comedy, drama, mm -hmm. like the stuff that people know and love, so, you know, we gotta start there. But like I was just saying, like, I, I, want, I want people to, to stretch themselves and to go a little bigger. I want them to say, I've always wanted to do a horror series based on local mythology, but I've never been able to figure out how to do that with the VFX and with the writing and the financing. Like, great, like, let's do that. Or I've always wanted to do a US style action movie. Like, great, let's do that. I've always wanted to do animation. <laughs> you know, like, I wanna I want hear those ideas where we can push them old because I, I do think that would, uh, people, you know, just look around the street, like, who's gonna wanna watch that? I think a lot of people wanna watch that stuff. So we gotta great. trust in that too. Great, awesome. So, um, Nollywood is one of the biggest and widely known film industry in the world. What unique distribution opportunity does Amazon Prime provide for Nollywood filmmakers? Yeah, that's, um, that's what makes us really special, right? We're streaming. Mm -hmm. um, so, like I said earlier, we have over 200 million Prime members um, around the world. And that's the last, you know, public information we shared. Like, it's, it's even more than that. Um, so, we have hundreds of millions of people that we immediately have access to um, for the content. And it's not just in one country, it's in 240 countries around the world. 
Um, so that for us is a really critical aspect of it. So you don't necessarily have this middleman between yourself and the customers. Like we partner with you, we get the content, we put it on the service and boom, everybody gets to see it around the world around the same time. Um, and we just think that's really special and that's really powerful, especially for the creativity that comes out of Nigeria. Um, we love the opportunity to, to give that access um, to the great stories um, coming out of the country to all the hundreds of millions of people that are that are around the world and growing. Great. Um, so James, are we getting a Nollywood and Amazon Prime original soon? Uh, not soon enough, apparently. <laughs> uh, I think uh, we're definitely a, a quality service. So uh, yeah, we're here at Efreef, like the team will be looking at films and looking at acquisitions, like how can we acquire stuff and get it up in the service soon? But as far as like those big ideas, like I was just saying, like my dream projects, like what are those horror, those action, like those things, those take time, right? You know, you gotta hear the idea. So this week, you know, my team will be back soon, you know, in a couple of weeks already, they're coming back to keep hearing more and more ideas. and. You find those ideas, then you gotta write them, and you gotta cast them, you gotta shoot them, then you gotta edit them, and you gotta localize them in you know all these languages <laughs> around the world, and then they premiere. So that takes that takes time. So I hope people will be patient with us as as we work all through that. But all I can promise is it'll be worth it. When the stuff comes out, you're not gonna turn it on and be like, this is the same stuff, but you know, like, yeah, <laughs> well, why did I wait for this? Like, no, it, it'll be awesome. So. Uh, uh, I think uh, people appreciate awesome. Great. And James and his team have a great track record of doing just that. So yeah. I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to it, uh, just as a customer myself. So yeah, it's gonna be great. awesome. Yeah. So um, you, you have a lot of women in Nigeria who look up to you, who admire you. So do you have any last word, to, anything to say to them? Oh my God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like like you're, you have everything that you need to be successful in this world. Um, I think Nigeria teaches you so much. The education system here is incredible. I'm, I'm a testament of that. I graduated from high school here. Um, it gives you a lot of grit living here and, and being able to thrive here gives you a lot of confidence. So I feel like just being a Nigerian woman just like makes you this, this superpower like that you can basically expose to the world. Um, so yeah, I would say go for it. Like whatever the dream is, like whatever your ambition is, I feel like Nigeria gives you everything that you need to be su mm -hmm. to succeed. It gives you the education, it gives you the confidence, um, and it gives you the grit to do it. So. Great, thank you so much. Nope.